So now we're going to talk a little bit about how to reactivate a team, because I know we have folks who want to reactivate a team. So were there any questions on forming a team? Was that a reasonably clear? Okay, thank you. It's not this. It's so we're going to join as a new participant. And we want to create a search for teams. So let's try how about So this will just illustrate the, the basic thing that you're going to do. All the other steps I already shared are all accurate and correct. If you search for a team that existed last year or in, in, in the past, and it hasn't been activated yet, you'll get to this screen. So I looked for a team uh, for a company in Mequon that participates every year, D plus H. Uh, Jeanette Kessinovitz is the uh, captain. And so she hasn't reactivated it yet. So if somebody wanted to reactivate it, they would bring the team back, and then it's going to go through all the other steps we just went through, and you're just going to simply indicate that you are the team captain at the end of the process. That's all that happens. So it's very simple. It's everything we already did, well, and well, let's hit bring team back just to show you. Okay. So it wants me to log in first, uh, all, uh, and it says only the previous team captain or co-captain can bring back a team. So we have to log in. It's because I didn't log in yet, and I can't log in as Jeanette because I'm not her and I don't have her password. This is exactly what happens. And when I was explaining about what happens after you hit the button that says reactivate my team, that's the next screen you'll see. The process we went through before. It'll just have you register because the team can't be activated without a captain. A captain can't be activated without being a registered participant. So you gotta, you gotta register, and it'll come through. Jim, when you um, go in to register and you're registering with another or an existing team that was last year, yes. Does does the software hold all of the participant, the meet the member participants from last year? Yes, you're already there. So if so you log in, with there, you just have to update it if you have some changes. Correct. And if you log in and you've forgotten your you try to log in, you've forgotten your password, for instance. It has a send me, send me a new password, and we don't even have to get involved. It'll send you an email automatically. You just open that up and say, click, boom, I'll create a new password that I'll remember for this year. Okay. <laughs> and off you go. So no problem. Okay. 